guys, welcome back to Feather's Charm. I'm Feather and welcome to this episode of the My Bullet Journal Journey series. Today I'll be creating the spread for March. Now before I begin, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share and follow me here on YouTube, on my social media channels, on my website and on Patreon. Your donations really do help me make more content like this. Also, please don't forget to check out the other episodes of this series in case you guys get more ideas from them uh, for your own bullet journals. Also, apologies that this, um, this video is late. I had planned to um, upload it on the first, but uh, things got really hectic. Now, uh, let's begin. Um, as you can see, I've started flipping through the February spread and as you can see, it has been a very busy month. Like, I'm not lying, although it looks bare, there was just so much to do and there have been a lot of changes. Don't worry, I'm still in, my, in the same job as I was in January, um, but it there's been a lot of change and a lot of um, a lot of things happening so it's why February has been pretty bare uh, but moving on we are starting off with the uni ball uni pin fine liner pen uh, this one is in 0 0.8 um, I use this for the uh, title uh, which I kind of create a calligraphy style for um, you can see it's not like my usual calligraphy style, it's sort of all over the place. Uh, so that's the theme this month. I start with my Arteza Real Brush Pens. This one is in Peach A116. Now, this is the actual, <laughs> this is actually the old pen, the one that I used back in June. Um, you can see it's kind of running out and I'm struggling to create the shapes I need for the main image here. So eventually I actually had to open up the new pack and use the new peach pen. So you can see when it when, when I do, it's actually right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can see I'm kind of making these shapes around the title. Um, I go fairly close to the letters and eventually I do uh, go right in um, because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do and how I wanted it to, to look but I eventually um, make my choice in the end um, and you can see the shapes are sort of curved and not quite straight that's because it is going to be a rose so <laughs> you guys remember me saying oh I the, the rose will be throughout the, the the year and I'll somehow fit it in even if it doesn't quite match the theme this time the theme is the rose so this big giant doodle around to the title of the month is the rose um, I just the reason why is because I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do for March. Um, I just knew that I wanted the peach color and I thought, you know what, let's make the rose the theme and it works perfectly for it. Um, I include the, uh, the leaves that I normally do with my roses. Um, I also kind of harken back to the September spread where I do these paint splotches um, and um, I actually outline them as well so you can see I use different greens for the leaves so I use the green tea uh, a154 the chamomile a157 and my standard crocodile peat uh, crocodile green a126 um, you can tell that that one's my favorite um, but yeah, I, I think I kind of stopped using the chamomile one because it doesn't quite show up as well as the green tea and the, um, the crocodile green. But as you can see, the, pe uh, the peach rose has manifested and I do these lines to kind of imitate the fact that there are shadows in the leaves. Um, I don't know if I like it. Um, I, I think I should have just left it out because it probably wasn't it probably didn't help at all but hey ho that's how it is um, and that's what I did and as you can see I start creating these uh, paint splotches now I use a fiber tip pen for this 
and then I go over them with a watercolor pe a water pen um, it's not ideal to do that but I did it anyway just to see how well it worked and it, it worked pretty well it does look like the paint splotches are water colored sp splotches um, and not just um, colored in splotches like in um, in September um, and these pens are actually by a stationery store here in the UK called Ryman now I got these pens um, when I was still employed by them like I don't know um, 20 not 20 sorry back in 2019 2018 um, these were in stock then but I don't think they're in stock now but if they are um, then yeah by all means these are really great pens and as you can see even if I did use the water pen on them they haven't um, bled through the page so these are actually really good pens and I like the colors because they are they, they were kind of in line with the with the colors of the month that um, that I, I had envisioned and actually um, the darker pink color that was actually a really great color for this um, for this month because I kind of there wasn't any uh, Arteza real brush pen in this color and I really tried my best to try and find it but this this pen was the best the best version for it and I I kept with it that's why you can see it's um, I, I use the water pen with the with the fiber tip pens because they did work and it was the perfect color for this month um, but yeah you can see also that the pens don't dry pretty quickly as you can see the um, the other pens that I use the darker browns um, and the blacks uh, kind of seep on the page um, because the the pen was still drying um, the ink was still drying sorry um, and it kind of makes this sort of washed out kind of look for the outline and I, I really like it it adds a little bit more dimension to it um, so yeah if you guys want to have the uneven lines like I do don't wait for it to dry let the the pen run but if you want clean lines then yeah you might have to wait for a bit uh, maybe a minute or two maybe five minutes if you're using uh, fiber tip pens like me um, but yeah uh, the the whole idea of this month was a sort of um, artsy romantic kind of style it, very abstract as well with the hatches and the uneven outlines I just love it and and as well as the um, the uneven calligraphy style um, as you can see here on the monthly overview and the monthly tracker pages um, I just love the way this page these pages look And um, yes, I go back to my Staedtler double-ended fiber tip pens. This one is in green. Uh, I use the dark peach and I use the regular light peach. Um, and I go back to the sort of style that I used before where I split the trackers um, and have a doodle in the middle. I kind of go back to basically the, um, the very first uh, style that I used in this journal. Now, um, just quickly to let you know, the quote for the month is, I am worthy of the positive life I deserve. So for the last two months, it's been very hectic. There's been so much going on. And thankfully, I don't have too much planned in March. So I can finally work on myself. I can work on Feather's Charm. I can work on the projects that I have going on. So, um, this month is pretty much all about me and I am kind of letting that sort of sink in throughout this month. Um, now you see I'm starting to create the calendar for the weekly spreads. This one I made a big mistake on. I shouldn't have used the, um, the fiber tip pens for it because it just didn't look good and you can see I outlined it in another fiber tip pen which honestly it it's not great 
so I kind of go back to using the peach border, um, the fiber tip borders, and then using the black pen for for the numbers. But yeah, um, I thought I'd change it up, but I just I, I I wouldn't have known which month I would be in, so I went back to to what I did before. And as you can see, the style this this month is going to be like the ones that. Are, that I did for the first three months of this journal. So the ones that I did for June, July and August. I split the page in half. I have half of it as the dailies boxes, half of it as the trackers and then do the same on the um, on the other page. Uh, just mirrored them and um, yeah I just created the spread that I was most comfortable with. I don't think I'm going to carry it on in April. So what I'm going to do for the last three months of the year, or at least the journal, um, is emulate the styles that I've had for the past um, nine months. So April will, mani will manifest the sort of autumn months, so the September, October, and I think November, and then the last month of May will be the uh, January, February, uh, December, January, February um, layout. So you'll see, you'll see the difference. Um, but yeah, so this is basically March. Um, you can see it's going to be uh, the same. I did make a few mistakes, <laughs> like I did um, in the first week again. Um, the last two boxes, the Sunday and the next week box was a bit too big <laughs> as you can see um, I I just made a mistake there um, and yeah I just carry out the um, the theme as as I do um, for each week to the final page of this month so it is the monthly review uh, page where I have a little diary moment and the totals uh, like I do normally um, it's just gonna be the same layout just a different style um, but yeah I am pretty proud of this um, as I said before I'm pretty proud of this month's spread um, purely because of the artsy romantic style but also because it's pretty tactile as well um, I like the look of the crinkled pages um, once I've used the watercolor pens and the water water pen um, it, it feels much more lived in rather than the clean styles of my previous spreads so despite me using you know colored paper and washi tape and stickers in the autumn months so September October November they were still pretty clean cut and they weren't very I don't know it, it didn't feel like that they were they were used and lived in but with this one it it, it felt lived in and every time I look at my journal it feels like it's a it, it's a sketchbook from there on 
Um, and I think I might do a few more, well, I might do something similar next year um, where I use my watercolor pens more or where I use other styles of media in, in my bullet journal. Um, I might, you know, create um, little paintings here and there um, rather than doing totals and monthly reviews or I might have you know double spreads for the monthly uh, titles or covers I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do for next year but I do know that I love this spread and the way it looks it's just so spring and it feels like it's March um, so yeah let me know what you guys think because I, this is how I view March. I don't know how you view March and I would like to know. So let me know what colors you associate with March and what themes you associate with it because it's very interesting. Just like uh, January and February. So let us take a look at March overall and um, I'll show you how it looks. Um, I am I am very much in love with this. It, it is spring. It is the epitome of spring. Even though it's not the peak, it's still the beginning and this whole month it just screams. It screams at spring and I'm, I'm sure it'll continue with April and May. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty proud of this spread, despite the mistakes that I make at, in the very first few weeks um, of this spread. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I absolutely love it. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know what colors you associate with March and uh, what you think of the layout, what you would have done, what you might want to do for your uh your spreads and um yeah let me know well that's it from me today you guys i'll see you next time and please don't forget to like subscribe comment share and follow me here on youtube on my social media channels on my website and on patreon your donations do help me make more content like this and if you would like to be a part of the creation process please don't forget to leave a comment or feedback in the comment section below and i'll do what i can to make the content to you love and as always be kind be creative and be unique i'll see you later feather out